Greetings, people of Earth. My name is Rob Wheeland. I am an author, game designer, and professional nerd. Tonight, I am the host of Theater of the Mind Players, your friendly local actual play show. Flaps! <laughs> Tonight, we are uh, playing the game Magical Kitties Save the Day from Atlas Games. Um... This is a boxed role-playing game for all ages where you play magical kitties who save the day. We're very excited to, to, to dig into this game, and I don't want to take too long because we want to, uh, I want to get into the, uh, the game. Uh, but this game is, is very simple to set up and play. It's meant to be played with families, um, but it's also fun for all adults to pretend to be cats for an hour or two. And that's exactly what you're going to see here in these next couple of episodes. Uh, so uh, I don't want to get uh, too deep into uh, the explanation of the rules or anything, but we're going to, uh, the, this uh, session is going to be us building the kitties and the world that surrounds them. And we're going to be using uh, the brand new uh, setting for Magical Kitties that's going to be available on Kickstarter, which is Magical Kitties Noir. Um, so uh, keep that in mind uh, as we build our characters here today uh, on the show. So let's uh, go around the table and have everybody uh, introduce themselves. Um, I think that's really just it. Like we don't normally do a little more introduction stuff, but we don't have those characters built yet. So just introduce yourself and I don't know, your favorite cat, whether personal or fictional. Uh Start with you. Hello, my name is Tony Cheek, he, him, and uh, my favorite cat is just, uh, I, I probably Lionel. I like the Thundercats. Okay, let's move on to our next mind player. Hi, everybody. My name is Jordan Fishburne, she, her, and my favorite cat is probably Garfield the Deals Warlock. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah Bame, and my favorite cat is... Um, his name was Otto, and he was adorable. Hi, my name is Ethan Ikes Anderson, he, him. And I'm going to say uh, my favorite cat, I'm going to say Salvador, who lives upstairs. Because he can hear us. Because <laughs> he can hear us, and I will get my throat slit in the night if I don't say his name. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't know. <laughs> you, can, you can have the same favorite cat. Okay. I'm Tawny P. Thompson. She, hers, and my favorite cat is also Salvador. <laughs> uh, He's like 30 pounds. Come on, man. That's like that's like two 15-pound cats. That's like, that's <laughs> uh, my favorite cat, of course, uh, was my, my uh, late lamented uh, Miss Knox, oh. uh, who was five pounds of fury uh, that uh, I will, would, will happily tell stories about uh, any night, except right now, because we want to get to the game. Uh, so... Everybody has their magical kitty sheets in front of them. Uh, and uh, we're going to go down and through the uh, uh, the character sheet. Uh, the first part is your name. Actually, let's go through the rules really quick here. Here's how to be a magical kitty. You must keep your magic hidden from humans. You pick your human even when it seems like the human picked the kitties. You want to help your human. You can understand humans, but they can't understand you. You, uh, you can understand animals, and they can understand you, too. You can read human writing, but it's very difficult, and sometimes you get it wrong. You have a special spot in your home that the humans can't reach. This spot lets you get in and out of your home without being seen. Uh, you must keep your magic hidden from humans. There are a small number of humans who already know the secrets of magical kitties like witches. And these humans can often understand you and it's okay for you to use your magical powers in front of them. Now, uh, the first step uh, in uh, making your kitty is uh, figuring out what your name is. So uh, we had some discussion before uh, the show about uh, names. Um, we've also got uh, a massively long list of names from our uh, friends on our uh, Patreon, uh, on our Discord, and we thank you for that. Um, so who wants to name their kitty first? I'm Spot. You are Spot. Um the hometown that everybody lives in is uh, Asphalt City. So you can write that on your character sheet. Um, let's go this way. 
Hi, everybody. My kitty name is Scabatha Cinder Smith. All right. Uh, you can call me Scabby. <laughs> and what is your kitty name? Uh, I am a boy cat named Mrs. Pickles. Okay. I'm a girl cat named Sir Theodore Munchwhistle the Third. My name is Fluffy. All right. So now, um, describe what your cat looks like. Um, even if even if we pick like three words, um, actually, I think that's probably a good a good cap. Like we don't want like four score and seven years ago, <laughs> our cat forefathers. Uh, so pick three words that describe your cat. Twenty's already running hers down, so I'm gonna go start with her first. Uh, tortoise shell. Okay. Medium sized. And uh, got one ear that's kind of janky. Okay. Skip. Okay. Sorry. I, you look like you were writing. Or is that. I have, I have one written. Okay. Who, who would like to go next? Uh, young, orange, and striped. Okay. <laughs> Can't both be orange cats? Nope. <laughs> All right. All right. Who's next? I will make it up the last one as I think about it. I am patchy, gray, and... I feel like rail thin. Like, you are probably an amazing... Like, you will always be... Emaciated? No, 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 no. Um, what's Bony? The, uh, lank, lanky? 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 Lanky. Okay. Lanky, yeah, that sounds... Patchy, gray, That's, and lanky. That sounds way more polite than starving. My human does good by me. I don't think I'm. Oh yeah, you're I'm just toned. You're yeah. live. Yeah. <laughs> you're to get you, you, you just do cat cross it, bro. Things. Yeah. <laughs> um, you ready now? Yes. Okay. I am small, hairless, with large ears. Okay. And his name is Fluffy. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> uh, I am average-sized, brown, and green eyes. Okay. So under description, they talk about your appearance, your history, uh, and your personality. Um, so think about that as we go. We don't necessarily need to lay all that stuff out right now. At the very least, I think maybe you should consider if you're like a young cat, uh, an adult cat, or like an elderly cat, or as I like to call my my uh, elderly cat, my elderly baby. Because um, that's what he is. Is that Batman? Yeah, that's Batman. Oh. Um, you know, you must have been an elderly baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're all kittens. Um, so uh, then there is a corner in the uh, upper right hand corner um, to draw your cat. And I would really recommend that you try to draw your cat as best as possible because I want to take pictures and put them up on our Patreon. <laughs> Nobody's going to judge except the people on Patreon. Don't worry about it. Um because while you're drawing, that'll give me a chance to lay out the next step, which are the owie limit, the kitty treats, and the level. Um, kitties have owies. Um, and they can take two owies, which we're going to be representing here uh, with the uh, out of the Vet One uh, pill container uh, with these glass beads. Um, and these can ha these owies can happen when as complications from a, a roll or as um, uh, or even if you completely miss a roll um, or as a reaction. Um, and you get you start with two of them. Um, and then uh, if you go past your owie limit, that's when you start to take injuries, um, which is uh, when. Uh, things actually start to kind of hurt. Like those th th those first two owies, you can kind of roll with, but past that, that's when things start to affect your, your dice rolls and things like that. Um, everybody also gets kitty treats, which uh, if you buy the deluxe version of Magical Kitties, you get these really cool wooden uh, treat uh, things that look delicious, but you shouldn't eat them. Um, everybody starts with two kitty treats, so go ahead and pull two out of the... Um, uh, the, the the sets and these can be spent to uh, do a variety of things uh, such as uh, you can reroll dice you can ignore an owie uh, you can uh, push your magical powers and so on and so forth um, uh, 
Lastly, uh, kitties have levels. As you, we go through adventures, these levels are going to go up. Tonight, uh, and for this story, we're going to probably stay at level one. Uh, so you can go ahead and fill that part in on your uh, character sheet. Now, each kitty has three attributes. Cute, cunning, and fierce. Cute describes uh, how appealing your kitty is and is used for social interactions. Um, your kitty can use uh, cute to get humans to feed them, to befriend a strange kitty, or to cheer up a sad friend. Cunning describes how smart and tricky your kitty is. They can use cunning to find a good uh, hiding spot, to outwit a dog, or to operate a human machine. Um, Fierce uh, is how strong, quick, and courageous your kitty is. Uh, fierce uh, is what you use to catch mice, to win a race, or to leap on the back of a terrible monster. Of, cute, cunning, or fierce, what is your kitty the best at? Cute. Fierce. I think uh, fierce. You cunning. Put, you put a three in that. Meow, meow, meow. Of the remaining two, what is your kitty the worst at cuteness fierce. <laughs> probably also fierce. i'm having a debate about my hairless nature <laughs> i think that may be my favorite ethan quote um put a one in what your kitty is worst in and then the remaining uh spot you put a two i see that that tony has already erased her her, uh, I was thinking like, about my backstory. Oh, as <laughs> as she is wont to do. Um, there, for those of you uh, who also are kind of like, let's cast fate to the wind. There is a random uh, roll chart, but picking these things I think is very simple and very easy. So what what does that rating mean? That means that when you do that thing, that is how many dice that you roll to start with. Um, so if you're going to be uh, attacking things, you're going to be using your fierce a lot. If you're going to be uh, trying to charm and, and manipulate your way through things, you're going to be using your cute. Um, but then every kitty also has a talent, and talents give you an additional die to roll when you use them. Now, um, to kind of keep things moving here, uh, there is a chart that you roll on. So what I'm going to have everybody do is roll 2d6. Uh, and then you give me those numbers and I will tell you the two talents that, that you have to choose from. Uh, who would like to go first? I can go. I got one and four. Okay. Your choice is either balance. You have a great sense of balance. It can easily walk through a tightrope window ledge or tree branch. Or 41. You know a lot about nature and are good at growing things. Let's go with something I don't know. Actually, I'm bad at both of those in real life. Uh, let's go with... <laughs> uh, let's go with the nature one. Naturalist? Naturalist. Nature is neat. One in five. Um, so, again, in the deluxe version, uh, or you can buy these separately, they have talent cards, uh, which have the basic information on them. And what's also useful about them is that because you can use your talent once a scene... Uh, it's very easy to to indicate that you've used your talent because you flip it over once you've used it. You can tap that. No, that's moving at 90 <laughs> degrees. Um, and also you owe Wizards of the Coast a dollar. Uh, what, what, uh, 15, you said? One in five, Okay. Yeah. Your choices are bargainer. You're good at getting what you want, but even more importantly, you enjoy helping people who are arguing come to an agreement. Or reader. Human language comes easily to you, and you enjoy reading human books and other writing. Ah, uh, I'll be a reader. Okay. Who's going next? I have 62. All right. Your choices are empathic. You have a knack for understanding the feeling of others. Or sleight of paw. You make uh, small objects vanish and appear as if by magic, but it's really because you're so quick with your paws. Sleight of paw. Because I would like to imagine where I'm hiding these things. <laughs> <laughs> Various flaps. <laughs> Flaps. Uh, yeah. uh, who'd like to go next? Uh, I will. Okay. I got 25. All right. Um, dramatist. You're a talented actor who can spin a good story that entertains others. Or 52. Runt of the litter. You're smaller than most other kitties and can squeeze into places where they can't follow. Ooh. 
I'll be a squeezer. <laughs> <laughs> I have 35 or 53. Uh, your choices are uh, investigation. You love a good mystery. Finding all the clues uh, and then figuring out how they fit together is like licking up a bowl of cream. Or 53, scientific. You know a lot about science, including chemistry and physics. I have to go with investigation. 36 would have been musical. You're talented at singing oh, and God. playing musical instruments. I would, <laughs> If you want to bump to that, I would let you. No, I have to go with investigation. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, yes. That, that's one of the other, other advantages of the, the cards is that they all have very adorable They're cat meow and adorable. They are meow and adorable. Oh, yeah. They are super meow and adorable. They're a bubble pipe. Uh, is that everybody? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we choose your flaw. Um, the, your flaws, uh, another thing that makes your kitty unique um, flaws might seem negative or problematic for your kitty, but they make the story more interesting and they earn you kitty treats. Um, so the, ta uh, so I, uh, so much as the talents give you an extra die that you can use the flaw. If you play into the flaw, you gain, uh, uh, kitty treats. So one again, once again, we'll roll on the chart. I got three and four. Okay. Your choice or flaws are indecisive. You have a hard time making up your mind and then worry you made the wrong decision. Or you're nosy. You have a thirst for knowledge and are eager to investigate anything unusual, even in the noise of other people. Nosy. All right. Who's next? Six and three. Squeamish. You feel faint and sick when confronted by anything that's gross. Or kitty Lexia. You can't read human languages at all. I will go with squeamish. Okay. I have 13 or 31. Big mouth. You talk a lot and often say things when you shouldn't or reveal things that should, should be kept secret. Or <laughs> hallucinations. You often see or hear things that are not really there. Hallucinations. Ah, that's a great picture. That's, that's a such a great picture. I don't know if y'all can see it from there. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. I got a 35. Uh, your options are jumps to conclusions you often do assume to know what's going on, even when you don't. Or secrets. You have a really important secret or many secrets that you're keeping from your friends. I gotta go secrets. All right. Uh, 14 or 41. Careless. You are clumsy and inattentive. You often break things, perhaps because you don't know your own strength. Or lazy. You always prefer taking the easy way or make someone else do the work for you. These are such Jordan choices. These are really good ones. <laughs> <laughs> These are both really good ones. I wasn't modeling this cat after me, though, so it's going to be <laughs> difficult. I'm going to go with careless and uh, clumsy. That's good. <laughs> the picture is really great. Okay. <laughs> good throw, Tawny. All right. Yeah. I want to say in the squeamish picture, I'm squeaming at a pickle. <laughs> are you doing the cat face? The <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right. Now uh, they... <laughs> choose their magical power. Each kitty has a magical par power. Um, they're fairly specific, and they only come up a couple of times per episode, but if you use your magical power when you are do uh, making a roll, it counts as two dice. So that means if you're using your talent and your magical power, that's a three die bonus, Ooh. which is really good. Uh, so once again, roll 2d6 and tell me uh, what, and we'll let you pick between two options. I got, oh. oh go ahead, sir. I got one and five. You can either be a copycat uh, you can create a duplicate of yourself who shares your memories. You can also remerge with your duplicate. Um, or you can be a sound master. You can create sounds or make things sound like something else as long as the sounds are natural. The picture is a cute little DJ kitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to go with DJ kitty then. Honestly, sometimes it is just the picture like, this is adorable. I have to choose this. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's a legitimate choice One, to make. Two. Uh, bouncing. When jumping or being thrown against the surface, you bounce off it like a rubber ball. I'm just picturing a hairless cat. Bing, bing. Um, or dream walker. You can watch the dream of one sleeping person you know or can see by entering a trance. I am bouncing. 
Um, I have once again gotten a 13 or a 31. Burrowing. You can tunnel through dirt or similar substances as fast as you can walk. Or hypnosis. <laughs> you can hypnotize one animal at a time, making them willing to perform non-dangerous tasks. Oh, yeah. Hypnosis. Sleep! <laughs> 62 or 26? Uh, 26 is healer. Once per injury or once per scene, remove an owie or an injury from another kitty or yourself. Or 62, telepathy. You can <laughs> look at podcast listeners. I want you to, to, to imagine Jordan's face lighting up like a, a guy just was like, here is a ticket to Jurassic Park for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Telepathy. You can see or hear whatever others are currently thinking about, including humans. Absolutely telepathy. Absolutely. <laughs> so I got a 12 like Ethan, so I can either take Dreamwalker or I can re-roll to find more stuff. Um, re That's yeah. what I did because I also had a 12. <laughs> or if you want to take Dreamwalker. I just took it by default, but I, I would like to see what else is, is what's a, What's on the table? Yeah. Fair enough. The truth is out there. <laughs> That's, oh, that's 12. I oh. did the exact same thing when I re-rolled. I rolled a 12 again. So, 14. Is that what you got? Okay. Yeah, 15. Catfish. You are completely amphibious, able to breathe underwater Stop. and swim as effortlessly as other kitties walk. <laughs> or phasing. You can walk through solid objects. You can't take friends or items when, with you when you do so. I'll phase. I'll be a phaser. Should we Phaser change set your name to Kitty Pride? <laughs> hey. Legally distinct Kitty Legally Pride. Distinct. Legally distinct. Here, ID. Kitty Pride. Kitty, Kitty Proud. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Pickle. <laughs> she, she, uh, they're doing a uh, Kitty, Kitty Pickles. Pretty, Kitty Proud uh, does, uh, does a fill-in story in the back of every episode, episode uh, every issue of Jamboree's uh, <laughs> <laughs> comic book. Okay. Now it is time to decide. Now, now it's time for the kitties to get their pets. Oh, wait. I, I have a really quick question. Yeah. Can cats have blue eyes? Pretty rare, but yes. Magical kitties. Magical kitties. Sir. Yeah, magical kitties getting the blue eyes. Um, so now it's time to, ch to choose your human. The, your human is the person you live with and whom you care uh, about helping. It's also a good idea to to kind of coordinate with the others um, to make sure that all the kitty humans live near each other or and it's or if it's OK for them to be family members or friends or, or whatever. Um, so you come up with a name that fits the, the human, um, then you uh, do their apparent their description, which is their appearance, their age, their family, uh, you know, whether they're in, in school, or if they're if they're young, what school they go to, if they're older, what job they have. Mm -hmm. um, and then we get to determine their problems. Because every human has problems that the kitty tries to help and solve. My cat already has an idea. Okay. Considering I can squeeze through tiny places, I'm, I have got a lot of secrets and I can phase. Would it be too on the nose if I was the cat of a cat burglar? No, it would not be. Does your burglar only steal cats? Ah. It's, it's it's possible. <laughs> um. So. Okay. So then, figure out what their appearance is. Um. What their name is. Selena Kyle. <laughs> Sorry. Felicia Hardy. Uh, cut the cut them and, and splice them. Yeah. Selena Hardy. I accidentally named her Selingna. Perfect. <laughs> that that's their name now. Selingna. All right, uh, Tony. Since you are um, kind of jumping into the, uh, you are the kitty canary in the in the coal mine here. Um, <laughs> so uh, everybody, every human has four ranks of problems, which are basically these are the issues that they're dealing with. They can either have one big problem, which is all four ranks, uh, two medium problem. Well, you can split these up however you want between the, the different ranks, but for kind of speed and, and ease here, I think it's easy to say one big problem at four, two medium problems at two and two, or four small problems at one each. Which would you like to do? I'll do the one big and then the two 
No, you you. So oh. it would be just be the two two. Like it, it's oh. one big or two medium or four oh, small. Oh oh oh. Uh, I'll think of it like a a pyramid of problems. Yeah yeah yeah. I'll do the I'll do the one big. Okay. So uh, I want you to roll a d six. Got a six. Uh, the problem is in their neighborhood. Uh, go ahead and roll two dice for me, then. Got a four and a five. Uh, so they could be either ashamed of their neighborhood, or they could be confused about their neighborhood. Um, I guess ashamed if they if they're like wanting to be rich, but they're not. Perfect. And that, and that's exactly how this is supposed to work. You take those two keywords and then you kind of use them as a writing prompt to determine, well, what's what's the deal? Um, so so obviously they're stealing from the rich because, you know, they want to get out of their their crappy neighborhood and mm. and, you know, they want to be somebody, you know? Yeah. Um, Anybody want to be siblings? Sure. Yeah. We also both have the weird, boring names. Yeah. <laughs> Hot, and Hot and fluffy. fluffy. <laughs> yeah, I think I was thinking we should have a college student. Yes. Okay. Could our people be never n- roommates? Because I was thinking of going or like or in the same owner, apartment building. Or, yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And like we always get into each other's apartments. Are we all in the same apartment block? Ah, we could be. I think I think apartment building offers a wider like that way you can have older, younger, you know, kind of. A my thing. my humans an old old lady, an old grandma esque lady that has like a little kitty food bowl that she has at her front door, and she sits out on her porch, and I come by every once. Or like on the fire escape. <laughs> or on the fire escape, yeah. <laughs> she's not on the ground floor. Okay, uh, so what? How do you want to split up your problems since we're talking about your human? I. Was actually, I thought it might be funny if my human had a big problem. Okay. And it was like, she was in with the mob or something. But <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have could to be it, a frizzy. Could it be like her children want her to go in a home, but they don't allow cats in the home? So your only way to fix the problem is to leave? Is to kill the kids? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm really surprised it took this long to get dark. Uh, uh, maybe. Okay, I don't want to have that sad. What if? What? Well, what if? God. What if your kids joined the mob and you're you're kind of ashamed of the fact that like you know every time you see like you know ah. uh, you know Charlie Boy Floyd uh, knocks over first bank. Yeah, like, her kids are in the mob, and or one of her kids, and she's very concerned about it. Okay. And it's worrying her a lot. Love it. Love it. Mob mama. Do you want to roll, <laughs> or do you want to... You got an idea. Uh, The boyfriend is allergic, or the girlfriend is allergic, or the significant other is allergic. I don't to know. us. Yeah. Okay, I was trying to... I was really like... <laughs> 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 Actually, theoretically, probably just to Sarah yeah. because. Oh yeah, yeah, it would yeah. just be me, just me. Oh no! Is one of you the newer cat, and one of you is the older cat? I'm the newer cat. That they got from the same litter. Well, ish litter. Or am I the Second newer litter. cat same after they Because you're dating. hyperallergenic. Oh no! Ooh. <laughs> I don't want to be a cat anymore. <laughs> so how how is that a problem for the human? Like, does that mean that they're going, they're trying, is it causing problems between the couple because, because of the allergy thing? Is it, because I, I feel like right now it seems like, like, though the cat is allergic, well, then that means you have to leave. And that's kind of a unfortunate solution for this human that you're helping. I don't know. Maybe that's not a good idea. Well, we you can always roll on the charts and see if we can come up with something, too. It could just be that they're lonely and we need to find them a date. We can, yeah, we can help them. We can help them. They're lonely. Yes. 
Okay. Our, our, our human is lonely. I need y'all's best, like, stoner college kid name. Because that's my human. Uh, <laughs> Luke. Well, remember, this is also a noir city, so you want to go for, like, kind of like the 50s, like, beatnik sort okay, of. Okay, okay, he's a beatnik. Give me your best beatnik name. Reggie. Reggie. I would also say Doby. Doug, because all names go to Doug. Uh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, Doug. Our owner is named Doug. And Doug is lonely. Now, is that his big problem, or do you want to have him have another problem? Like, I could see that as a medium problem. Yeah, I could see the medium okay. problem. Why don't you roll for the? Why don't you roll for the uh, the other medium problem? You want to roll the one dice, or you want to roll the two dice? You just ju- ju- just do it. Two. Uh, his prob is a health problem. Oh, it's way better than that. Oh. Uh, forty-three. Uh, it is. He is either anxious or apathetic about his health. Oh. Hypochondriac. I think anxious about his health. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he had some kind. Maybe he had some kind of episode. Yeah. And he came back and was like, "All I have is a cat, two cats." Now I have two cats. Yeah. And he, he, <laughs> well, that, maybe that, that's why he got one of you. Was he's like, "Well, now I have two cats," and then he, if I have to be lonely, I'm not going to let my cat be lonely. Right. So my human is Reggie. I figure with the hallucinations and the hypnosis, he likes to give me the catnip every now and again. <laughs> Uh, so I think he probably though has. He just, has, he just has, uh, uh, I think it's just the brand name. Got you the good yeah. peppers yeah. on a loop over yeah, and over. Exactly. And over. <laughs> um, I think he has one medium and two small problems. All right. A combination we haven't done yet. The children. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> so this is no, the medium no. or one of the small. Medium four. Friend or enemy. Enemy. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Confused friend or enemy. Perhaps a lover. Uh, An enemy to a lover? That sounds pretty confusing. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like some of the comics we read. Um, What if he's got a crush on Doug, but Doug hates him? Y'all's owner, right? Maybe Doug Doug. just is really apathetic to him. Yeah. He feels like he hates him. Yeah. He thinks Doug hates him. Okay. I want everybody to know that my grandma's name is Tabitha, and she named me Scabatha. Just for everybody. <laughs> just so everybody knows. You had mange when she first got um, you, and then yeah, that was why your name Two small problems. Two, must, two, two small problems. <laughs> I have a one and a five. Uh, money and work or school. I'm going to say school. I don't think... No. Well, no, like the right one is money oh. and one is work school and then roll the two dice for each problem. Let's go school. Okay. 31 or 13? Uh, either sad or guilty for school. Ooh, cheater. Guilty because he never goes to class. Yeah. yeah sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have any guilt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then... Work school. Also five. Um, let me do that again then. Three. No, you're supposed to roll one die first and then two. That's I Oh, so it's another work school problem? It, it could be, yeah. Okay, I was re-rolling because I figured six and one. Uh, either frustrated or angry. I mean, this could also be because we all did we did have you roll a money problem before. Let's so go money, money. Frustrated and or angry. Frustrated because his very rich parents cut him off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be that would be rough. He's actually got to get a job. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Or it could be he's frustrated because maybe he wants to, like, he wants to be a poet. He wants to do his own thing, but he definitely feels the lure of being like. Mom, Dad, can I borrow like a couple bucks just yeah. until I sell my first poem? And yeah. then he's totally a beat poet. He's totally oh like yeah, oh yeah, berets, oh, and snapping. Yeah. He definitely has the the, the soul, soul patch. patch. Yeah. <laughs> Mother and I wanted you to be a lawyer or a doctor. <laughs> this poem is, is entitled "Mother Dollar." <laughs> Mother Dollar, <laughs> <laughs> trying to make sense. Of it all. How? (laughs) 
<laughs> Bill, you fold every time <laughs> I call. <laughs> okay. And that, as they say, is that. Our characters. Is cat. Oh, yeah, is cat. Oh, you oh said it before God. I could. I hate all of you. <laughs> all right. So we are, uh, we have our, our characters built. Um, now, we had also discussed, are we still doing, are we still having the newspaper as sort of the central location? Uh, yeah. Um, so. Uh, I called up on the Gossam columnist. <laughs> so uh, one of the things that that they uh, that uh, they ask you to do uh, when they put when you pick one of the the hometowns for the game uh, is to come up with uh, a sort of a central location that the adventurers can spiral out of. Um, now there is a great one uh, that's uh, included in. The Magical Kitties book, uh, which is uh, in the basement of the Diamond and Ace Detective Agency that the cats have started their own detective agency. But um, we decided to go a slightly different direction um, because uh, as we were going through the location, we noticed that there uh, wasn't a newspaper in town. Um, and as, if you are fans of our other uh, journey into uh, noir riffing uh, City of Mist. Uh, you will you know that uh, we had a ton of fun uh, uh, playing with the newspaper there. So we decided that in the basement of the Daily Herald, which is the newspaper in Asphalt City, these kitties are putting together the Daily Herring. Um, and that is where we will pick up our adventure next time. So if you want to see us play Magical Kitties, please be sure to uh, check out that uh video but until then this is all of us here at theater of the mind players saying just repeat to yourself it's only a game i should really just meow congratulations fellow human you've reached the end of an exciting episode of theater of the mind players if you enjoyed our story please like the video if you want more games subscribe to our channel attack the bell for notifications on new posts if you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You'll get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there.